What's up CL fam? We are at a haunted abandoned mansion and I'm quite scared. And we've got Harry here today for protection because you know, we need a bit of strength. She's more scared about people being yeah, in there no. than ghosts. No, because abandoned places, they're prone to having underage people drinking. Or squatters. Yeah. Squatters. I mean, underage people aren't that scary. Or druggies. Or dr yes, squat, same kind of thing. But there's a story behind this place, so let's introduce you. Built in the 1800s, this lodge was once a gatehouse for a much bigger manor which is located a little down the road. The estate was owned by John and his wife after inheriting it from his parents who at the time had ownership for over 100 years. During World War II, the estate was temporarily taken by the MOD who set up camps for refugees forcing the family out of the manor and into the lodge. John would then go on to join the RAF until he retired in 1971 when he and his wife took permanent residence in the old gatehouse. Over the years, they extended the lodge to create a large six-bedroom mansion, even building an annex for a carer if they needed one in their old age. But this is where the story gets a little bit creepy. Now, there isn't much evidence to back this up, only stories told by the locals, but if they're true, then we're in for a treat. Not long after John retired, the couple became very distant from the locals, which was extremely out of character for the pair. Curtains that hung in the mansion windows were left closed. The gardens were left unattended to. No one had heard from them for almost a year before their grandson returned home looking for answers. After finding his way into the property through an unlocked downstairs window, he made his way to the master bedroom to find both of his grandparents hanging from the ceiling. Desperate for answers, the grandson would invite three different mediums into the home, trying to make contact with the other side. One medium refused to enter the bedroom upstairs, claiming that two young girls wouldn't let her in because it was their room. She explained how they were protective of the gatehouse and they used to live there with their parents before they were taken away by bad people. Like we said, you don't have to believe the story, but we're here today looking for answers. Found kind of a way in. <laughs> oh god, how do I get Pull yourself up backwards, it's easier. Oh my god, spider leg! Right, we're just hoping that no one's in here. Ow, I've been stung, I've been stung. Wow, this is booky. Right, so who's first? <laughs> well, I don't hear anything. Yeah, but there's broken glass in it. Spruce the place up a little bit. Is there a poo in the toilet? That's not what it's called. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's going to get darker by the minute. We're going to come out of here with candles. I'm going to have a lift in the house. Yeah, Because these floors definitely aren't. Um... Is that you? Yeah. Oh, oh God, it's only what's coming from the attic. There's another upstairs there, right? On the other side of the house. Yes, I saw the other stairs. My heart is racing. It's freezing, yeah. It actually is freezing. Is there a window? 
It's extra cold. Yeah, but upstairs, the window was broken and it wasn't this cold. February 2nd, 1998. What was going on in this year? This year? What was going on in this room? Why? This is, this is the dodgy room. This was definitely a bedroom. What's in there? Nothing. To the toilet. Is there a poo in there? Should we have a look? Yeah. Not this though, it's just dry. Yeah, it's just, it's just a dry toilet. No, this, this is the coldest room in the house, 100%. What would it have been though? A washroom? What I'm saying is, it makes no sense that it's the coldest room because the windows are open because the windows are broken in the house. Why is this room particularly cold? This can't be good, breathing all this in, by no, the way. No. What the hell's that? Here's the staircase. Is that the front door? Another toilet. We're gonna to need a poo check. Oh god, moth poo. Oh man, that's nasty. That is actually nasty. My chest hurts. Daily Telegraph, Monday, January 19... Oh, it's 93, it's earlier. Well, it's getting darker. It is getting darker and I'm getting more scared around. Oh my god, I don't know if that's... That's what I'm saying, I don't think we're safe to go on. Are you going? Mm, not first. Come be. Are you going? Oh, you go first. I'll go. Harry's taking one for the team. Oh my god. I bet it was one of these. Oh, that's a big spider. Wow. Don't like spiders. There's rope and all sorts in there. I just don't think there's anyone here. I think we're fine. What's in there? Go on, I'll come after you. No. Right, I'll go in first then. There's like rope and stuff. Oh my, there's the attic. This is their, all their old stuff. There's a shoe. Okay, this is the part that's more intact. Look, they're all briefcase and stuff. They're all bags. What are you covering your face for? about time for me to put my light on. Wait, there's a toilet. Poo check. Poo check. Slushy. Okay, we're done with the poo check, surely. That's a car. We could just be driving past that. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of piss. It's like blood. Oh Why is God, it it's red? It's a sippy cup. I don't think there's a top there, what's that? That's proper old that is. Who's going in the attic then? Look at the mould mate, like, we're just killing ourselves being here. <laughs> we're just giving ourselves a death wish. The great thing is, you can see people coming from miles. Unless they're already waiting in the attic. My chest really hurts. How brave are you? I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, you're ready. Oh, this is a bit dookie. How big is it? It doesn't really show the full extent on the camera. There's some flowers. I need to go outside for a sec. Literally can't breathe. So we've come outside for a second because we're all getting really lightheaded. I feel like I am in particular. We should have bought masks. There's mold. There could be asbestos. So there's a rational explanation to why we're feeling really lightheaded. So now all uh, we need to do is wait till it gets a little bit darker. Yeah. We've cleared the entire mansion now. We know there's no there's, one here. There's no one else in there. Unless they're really hiding well. We're going to wait till it's a little bit darker, walk around the grounds, and then start doing some haunted business. Sorry. So Liana's let us know that she's feeling a bit ill. I'm not sure whether it's uh, the mould or <laughs> we're thick with mould. Could be, but my heart's racing really quickly as well. Although this so is the room that feels worse to me. I just feel a bit panicky. The bedroom upstairs and this room down here definitely feels the worst. I've got the K2. It's pitch black in there. Like, it's the perfect it's time. Cruise. I don't like it. You've got something. It's literally right in front. Whatever it is, it's moving. My name's Liana. We're just here. See if there's any good spirits to get in contact with. 
My name's Connor. You probably know me from YouTube and TikTok. We're just wondering if you'd contact us today, give us a sign, any sign, whether it's a knock, a whistle, anything. I'm seeing orbs, a lot of orbs. You're seeing orbs on, okay. My name's Harry. Give me a sign. Give us a sign. Make give a noise. It. Yes, give us a sign that you're here with us. Open the door. We would like to invite any good spirits to come in contact with us. What was that? <laughs> no, what was that though? It literally sounded like a growl. <gasps> that was horrible. Just be clear, it was the exit. I can't remember. Mm. I think it's in there. Did you hear it? Do you want to ask again or something? Because I don't like the growl. I want, if anything, I just want a, a knock or a whistle. We're here to invite any positive spirits to come in contact with us. If you're here, can you make the K2 light up? It's blinking. If you walk towards the light, can you do that for us? Can you make the light flash? I've just gone deathly cold. Oh. What the hell was that? I just I got so scared I ended the recording. Oh what the hell was that? Bobby, what was that? I got so scared, I just ended the recording. Oh my god, I think I ended the recording because I jumped. Oh my god, what the hell was that? The K2 just went went nearly red. It went absolutely freezing in here. Something black past. Okay, that's that's horrible, but we're already involved now, so we may as well carry on. Are you cold? Did it just go really yeah, cold? Yeah, yeah. My hands and my legs have just gone freezing. I didn't like that one bit. Scared, yeah, very scared. That was horrible. We only invite positive spirits to make contact with us. I can't believe I ended the recording. Can you knock? Let's turn off the lights a sec. Did you live in this house? If you did, can you knock once for yes, twice for no? I just heard a tapping from my right, I swear to God. Yep. Did you hear it? Yep. Was that you tapping on the wall? It sounded like a fingernail was just yeah, tapping yeah. on the wall really lightly. I heard. If you're in this room with us, can you set off the lights on the K2, the light that's on the floor, can you make it go red? All you have to do is stand next to it and you can make it flash for us. No, I'm not going in there now. Screw that, it went back in there, whatever it was. Did you want to try a room upstairs or is everyone too scared to make it up there now? That's freaking me out, that It's freaked me out as well. But that's a good bit of contact we've had there. We heard a growl. We heard a growl. The K2 went off all the way to red. And then there was a, then there was a, a shadow that hit the walls. My muscles ache. I don't know if that means anything. It went so cold in here. I think we should definitely move. We don't have to go upstairs if everyone's too scared, but we should definitely move. I don't know. No. Oh, no, we're not going in there, are we? Well, this is where the shadow went, so I think it's probably best. What's that symbol? Don't start with that. I don't know if I did it on camera, just... So we can do some research if anyone knows. Does, okay. does anyone know? Does that mean anything? Oh, oh, oh. Because that's where the bedrooms are, though. Yeah, but there's no way I'm going up there now. Mm -hmm. Not a chance. We're here to make contact with any good spirits. You know that you used to live here? Positive energy only, that's all we're looking for. Just a sign that you're here. Can you come and talk to us? Can you knock on a door, knock on a wall? We weren't trying to scare you. Can you open this door to my left? 
Can you give us a sign that you're here with us? See this light in front of me. Can you walk towards the light? Can you make it flash like you did? Can you maybe tap your fin fingernails on the wall? Can you tap for us? Can you touch one of us? Not me, love, please. Yeah, not me, please. Liana. Can you touch, Liana? Can you touch Connor on the shoulder? No. This man next to me, can you this touch... This woman me? here, can you touch her on the face? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. This is 100% the coldest room. Yeah, I agree. Can you tap to let us know that you're here? I came through there. Thank you, that's really good, thank you. Can you tap again to let us know that you're here? If you're one of those two girls, will you walk towards the light that's in the middle of the room and let us know that you're here? Your chest hurts. Do you want to get out of there? Okay. 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 Thank you for making contact with us. We're Goodbye, gonna, we do not. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm offended. We do not give you permission to follow us home. We do not give you permission to take any of our bodies. We're going to leave now and leave you in peace. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. So we had to leave because Leon's... My chest hurts yeah. and I've got a really dry, dry throat. I don't know if that means anything. But I'm glad we've got something on camera. It scared me. So now I feel really bad.